Okay, Dave in St. Louis, as we uh, get started on the phones today, a little later than usual, I appreciate your patience and welcome. Great to have you here. Dave, are you there? He's not there. Let's try Joe in Tulsa, Oklahoma. Joe, do you happen to be with us? Are you there on the EIB? Yeah, Rush, I'm here. Can you hear me okay? Uh, yeah, I hear you fine. Slow down a little bit and we'll be cool. Okay, okay. Um, I wanted to call and uh, tell you, one, I'm, I'm a big fan. I listen to you every day before I jog. Um, and then, two, what I wanted to say was I was kind of been listening to the radio today, and um, I'm a big fan of yours when it comes to, uh, you know, when you discuss economics, but not so much when you talk about uh, social issues. Um, but as far as uh, the, what's been going on in the University of Missouri, um, I, I understand the sentiment of the young people there, and I ne- I'm not necessarily in totally agreement with um, a lot of this being mixed up with Ferguson and things of that nature. Um, but ultimately, I do, like I was showing your screener, I really do feel that um, what they're trying to achieve is, uh, you know, some more um, attention towards uh, some, of the, some of the social and discrimination that goes on with the United States of America. Like during, you know, like we were, I was talking to your screener. Wait, wait, the, wait, wait, just say, you think that they're, you, you uh. Okay. You really think they're protesting against discrimination and racism on the campus of the University of Missouri? I, I don't necessarily. I feel like it's more they're trying to bring attention to the way they feel. I feel that um, in today's society, whether it be the um, – it all kind of hit the fan, I believe, with the Trayvon Martin situation. That was when that was kind of the catalyst. Um, but speeding it up. Um, what was the right Trayvon now? Martin – wait a minute. We gotta, what was the Trayvon Martin situation? What happened there? Okay, well, you know, I mean, contrary to some belief, um, you know, a lot of people would believe that he was a criminal walking the streets and was, um, you know, about to perpetuate a crime and was killed by George Zimmerman, who was a good citizen. Um, in my humble opinion, I believe that he was afraid of this young man he saw walking the street, and he approached him. Okay, and what, let, me, he, let me stop it. Whatever happened there, whatever happened, uh, uh, what does it have to do with the University of Missouri yeah, and the yeah, way anybody I, there I, feels? I digress. I digress. Let me get back on, on point. Okay, so what I wanted to say was this. During the times of slavery or segregation or Jim Crow, whatever you have to take, you know, take for instance, if you were to get those people from that time, that day and age, they would look at today's society and say, this is not what, this, was, this is totally... Now, wait a minute. Now, you know, do you, do, do, Joe, do you actually think there are vestiges of slavery at the University of Missouri? No, 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 no. That's not what I'm saying. What, what well, I'm, what I'm trying, okay, so what I'm we trying have to throw to, Trayvon Martin out. We have to throw let, slavery let, let, out. Let me, just, let, me, let me just give my main point, Rush, please. Uh, my main point is this. I just feel like they want more um, attention on the fact that there are racial disparities here in the United States. That's it. And I feel like uh, you have to understand and appreciate their their way of going about doing it. They're doing it in a peaceful manner. They are just bringing attention to the fact that there is that this exists. Okay, what then let me is, ask you that. Why do they keep voting Democrat then? Because the Democrats are responsible for all this. The Democrats ran Ferguson, ran Missouri. Democrats run the University of Missouri. Democrats run Baltimore, Maryland. The Democrats are the prosecutors and so forth in the Trayvon Martin case. I mean, I in the first place, I don't... I, I, so much of this seems bogus to me, and too convenient. I think what the students want is no grades and no tuition. They just want to be able to go to school, get a degree. They want A's, and they want no tuition, and they want free meals, and they get it by claiming they're discriminated against. They feel unsafe. They're, they're, they're uh, uh, being treated unfairly or what have you. You know, this generation is actually a little smarter than the one. Can you imagine the damage the 60s protesters could have done if they had figured out that they could have just stayed in bed and gotten the football teams at these campuses to boycott? Whoever's running these protests, I mean, you've got to give them some credit for some smarts here and figuring out how to max what they're trying to do. But I think most of it's bogus. There isn't all this racism in this country they claim there is. 